Okay, now let's take a look at how a little bit of science can make you a much better runner. Now this may seem a little, uh, oh gee, how can science do anything? It's not going to do anything that's practical. Well, science doesn't have to always be practical. It can be theoretical and you can apply it into the practical. But let's back up a little bit. What do we mean by science? We live in a world of technology today. Take a look at the computers. Most likely all of you have some kind of a cell phone, iPod, whatever it is. You've got so many pods out there, I can't even mention them all. So from reading a book to uh, finding out when your wife's birthday is or anything you want, it's all in the computer today. Carry it around with you at all times, 24-7. So the technology is with us. We can't escape it. But when it comes to sports, and when it comes to running, where's the technology? Oh, sure, you got heart rate monitors tell you what your heart's doing all the time. These are great. That's an example of great technology. But are you using that technology to more effectively make you a better runner? See, that's going to show your heart rate and what's happening to you as you run. But where's the technology telling you how to run? Where's the technology telling you how you can be a better runner? This is where the technology can be put to better use. What technology do you use to analyze your running? How can you get feedback on what you're doing in your running? To get improvement of your running stride, let's say, or uh, your cadence, uh, your posture, your arm movement, your leg actions. All of these can be done very simply with the technology that we have done today. Then the science also applies to your training. Not just measuring your heart rate, but how can we periodize uh, your, your running training to make it more effectively? How can we make that marathon training more effective? How can we make the sprinting more effective? You take a look at most of the programs today, and they're almost identical for everyone. Where are the differences? We're all individuals. Each of us is different not only in our body composition, our posture, our height, our weight, and how we move and what we like to do, but also how our body reacts to the different types of training. Some people can take a lot of training, some only a little bit. So we have to adjust everything according to the individual. But yet what we see out there is for the masses. So some people will take this information and say, oh, this is great, it works for me. But how about all the other people that, don't, that it doesn't work for? So then they're saying, oh, this program is no good. Well, it could be a good program, but it has to be for you. Technology can do this. This is where we need this technology. We need more analysis. So film analysis, easily accessible. Look at all the video cameras that are available today and relatively cheap. Cheaper than many of the iPods that you're buying. So you can buy a camera, you can film yourself, you can look at it. But to be most effective, it has to be done frame by frame. So that becomes a little bit more expensive. But if you're a serious runner, it's well worth the money. Then we can use other technology to monitor what is happening in the heart. We need more information on how running is done. We need a better understanding of what is involved in running. This is where science comes in. Most coaches don't rely on science. Surprising, but true. Science has, has been the, oh, uh, well, that's science, that's, that's for the eggheads. They don't know anything about running. They only know running in, in, a, in a laboratory. They just watch the mice go round and round. Well, maybe if they watch the mice a little bit, they find out something. Maybe I shouldn't have said mice, I like to think of horses. I use horses as a great example for good running technique. You may think I flipped out here, but uh, when I taught running at the university, uh, horses were a great example because you could see the paw back mechanism very nicely in a horse. It's more difficult to see with a human being, but in a horse it stands out very, very nicely. And we would analyze the horse and many other things too give an example of what should be looked at when you run. So we have this knowledge that we learn through science. 
and a few sources that have it. If you read Explosive Running, you'll get a lot of this science. But it's not for the scientist, it's written for you, the runner. You could understand it. It's written in very simple language. It may take two or three readings to get the full comprehension, but everyone can read it and understand it. This is the beauty of it. So learn what is involved in running. How does it apply to you? How can you adjust your running to utilize the latest in science? All the information is there. It just needs application. So this is where not just, don't just think in terms of equipment, but also think in terms of the knowledge and apply the knowledge to make you a better runner. It's all there.